Hey, it's Julie James. Returning to Broadway in a new production is Lorraine Hansberry's A Raisin in the Sun, featuring Tony and Academy Award winner Denzel Washington. We're here today at Lincoln Center to catch up with the cast about their feelings on bringing this American classic back to Broadway. Lorraine Hansberry, August Wilson are two of the greatest American playwrights of our time and uh, African-American playwrights and the opportunity to play two great roles, two of the best roles written for a man or African-American man, uh, with Troy Maxson in Fences and now Walter Lee Younger. I couldn't, I couldn't pass up that opportunity. I had to hurry up and <laughs> squeeze it in. Oh, ten years ago we tackled this play uh, with a whole different group of people and, and that, that production holds a, a special place in my heart but to, 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 to look at it ten years later uh, a lot has happened in those ten years yeah. you know uh, uh, African American president, uh, Trayvon Martin incident, uh, uh, where we are as a country, uh, the, the crash of the housing market. So A Raisin in the Sun has a lot to say about America, has a lot to say about the American dream. Uh, it is the iconic Hansberry play uh, that speaks about the African American experience as it's set in Chicago. I think that at this point though, it still speaks to us in 2014 because we're still grappling with some of the issues. Issues, uh, You know, this is about dreams and dreams not coming to fruition. And in the greater scheme of life and in this 2014 landscape, that happens across the board. Not, I mean, it's the families, it, it has always happened in all of the families, but we're watching a new generation of kids whose dreams are having to be altered to fit a different landscape. This show is such a classic. It's such an American classic. It's wonderful to be able to breathe life into that and bring it to the young people who don't know about it right. to make sure that it continues to be in, in our um, books and minds and in our hearts.